What is up everybody, Jayco here today and today I am updating you guys all on my dating slash love life slash what the is Jake doing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't curse anymore so if I do curse, I'm gonna act like I curse but not curse. So you guys gotta, you guys gotta roll with me, you know what I'm saying? So I just got done at the gym, I'm heading home and I thought, you know, why don't I give you guys an update on my relationship life and if I'm dating somebody, if I'm doing things with somebody. So you guys know that for the last, well my surgery was, what's today, Monday? My surgery was on Friday. 10, the 10 days before that I was wearing glasses the whole time, but I was still associating with somebody who seen me before glasses, so I didn't really mind. But I kind of felt like I lost my confidence when I didn't have my glasses. I meant when I was wearing my glasses, I didn't feel confident at all. And, um, you know, it sucked. I didn't want to work out. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to see anybody. So I felt like, you know, I lost my confidence. Trying to get out here, guys. Give me a second. Oh, these people not letting me go. All right. I got to go. Okay, here we go. And, um, you know, I just felt like crap. So, regarding what I'm doing and who I'm dating and stuff, I actually, I'll tell you a quick story about a girl who let me live my fantasy. This was really, really cool. Is that I noticed this girl who went to my gym and went to other gyms and I seen her a lot. And I never approached her. She has, like, you know, a bunch of tattoos. She's, like, Asian and Spanish. And I've comment on one of her Instagram photos before and I was like you know you don't need those selfie filters because she used a bunch of selfie filters I was like you don't need those you're too pretty for that and she said thank you and I followed her at the time she didn't follow me back so I just unfollowed her and then a few months later I saw her at the gym again and I looked at her and you know she saw me and then right when she left I followed her on Instagram she followed me back and then we were talking and then it just got really flirtatious and nudes were going back and forth and stuff like that so she ended up coming over that night and we did a little bit of bounce wow wow you know what i'm saying i don't want to get into it i don't want to get demonetized but i got to live a lot of my fantasies and it really you know turned me on but at the same time i knew that i could never date this person and then i later found out she did porn <laughs> it was just so funny it was just hilarious but um other than that i've been on a few dates here and there um, I met one girl who is Korean and you know, I don't find her like super attractive, but I love her personality and she really took care of me after my surgery and she was there for me and she, she's the one who took the video for me that I posted on YouTube and she's just a really, really nice person. The only thing that I dislike about her and this is me being picky, is that she's not into fitness and she's about 20 to 25 pounds overweight. Now, is it something that I might be able to push her to and, and you know get her into it? It's possible, but my biggest concern is she doesn't know what I do. And I feel like she's one of those people that would really judge me on it, but if she really liked me and cared about me, she would accept it. Uh, but that's that's just how I feel. So she's actually, and the problem is that there's a, there's a few little problems. Like one, she currently is splitting a house three ways with girls in Gainesville, and she goes to school there, but she's not in school anymore, and her lease doesn't end up until July. So she spent a week with me at my place, took off a week, and then came back for another week. And I was like, I did this because I wanted to know what it felt like to live with somebody again before saying, hey, move in with me. I can't tell somebody to move in with me if I don't like like them, like them. Like, it, it, you, you get the idea. So I don't want to live with her um, at first. So she was looking at apartments in the general area, like a one bedroom, one bath, or to rent out a room in someone's home. And I told her that I can't be exclusive with you or have a relationship with you unless you live close to me because I don't want to see you one week here one week there and you know possibly two weeks it's just it just wouldn't work out now I don't need to see somebody 24 hours a day I don't need to see somebody seven days a week but I don't want to be that distant from somebody that I like and I care about um, she's 22 years old 
You know, she has her head on straight, but she's not ambitious. And when I when I say that, I mean that she doesn't look like she, her parents take care of her, pretty much. And they're in California, so when she buys things, she uses you know their credit card. Um, you know, she doesn't have a job right now. She doesn't have a car right now, and she's not in school. So these are all negatives in my thought process. But at the same time, it's good that her family's helping her out, and um, it's good that she doesn't need me to take care of her, like financially like with my ex I used to pay for everything you know and what I like about her is there's times we go out to dinner or there's times we go grocery shopping and she wants to pay for it even though it's not her money but she wants to pay for it so it, it makes me feel a little bit better knowing somebody's like that so my what I'm debating is because she's going home tomorrow and I don't know when I'm gonna see her after that and I'm not on top of her, like I'm not always messaging her, so I give her her space. Of when I want to tell her and if I want to tell her. Now, it's not me being afraid to tell her because I'm not afraid to tell her. It's about me saying, do I want to be with this person? And if I do, I have to tell them. That's just what it is. And it's, it's just because I, when I was with her, you guys saw that I was isolated from Twitter and and. And YouTube and stuff like that is because I was with her and I didn't want to mix those two things together so that's the story of my love life and where I'm at now and stuff like that do I love this girl I do not love this girl could I love this girl it's definitely a possibility um, I, I really like if she just fixed a few little things and I'm not trying to change somebody because that's not what I'm about but if she fixed a few things like there was a picture of her on her Instagram like three years ago or two years ago and she was thin, a lot thinner. I thought she was just so attractive. But when I see her now, it's not that she's not attractive. She has a, you know, she has a pretty face. She has really, really good skin. It's just she has about an extra 25, 30 pounds. And for most people, it's perfectly fine. But for somebody who's a master trainer who trains and who does their body like me, it's like, oh, I wanna like fix this as a professional. I wanna fix this. So I don't I don't want to tell people what to do. But other than that, like I said, she does a lot for me. She, you know, cleaned my house and did dishes for me and very very minimal flaws. Like if I were to compare her to my ex, like she's not as attractive, but she does a hundred times more. So I just I just don't know when I'm gonna get around to telling her. I think the day she comes back is the best idea to do it. It's not good to text it to her or video chat it to her. But maybe video chat, but to text it to her would be she would be like you're you know you're a coward, blah 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 blah. So either and I don't like when she comes back, I don't want to put her in that spot will be like where she's like, ew, I don't want to talk to you anymore and then she doesn't stay with me. Like I, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And I'm not scared to do it. I'm just I have to make sure that this is the one that I want to be with in a relationship because I haven't been in a relationship in nine months and I don't want to take a jump into a relationship unless I know I want to actually be with that person for a long time. I don't want to be in a relationship. Not only that is when I'm in a relationship, I'm exclusive and I don't have sex with other women. So like right now, I just fuck around because I'm not loyal to anybody because I don't have to be loyal to anybody because I'm not giving off false promises where I'm like, hey, I'm the only... like. They know I'm having sex with other people. Like, it's just what it is. So that's the update, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I appreciate your time so much, guys. Thank you.